So, Harry, everybody, this is Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn coach, trainer, public speaker. My purpose is to help uh, business professionals use LinkedIn very intentionally, very purposefully uh, to grow their business, grow their pipeline. And, um, and so today's conversation, this is our very first, first Friday LinkedIn uh, session. And so we're going to get started. I can't get rid of that box, so that's okay. It'll have to hang out there. So, so anyway, we're going to get started. And today's, uh, this is uh, May 5th, 2017. It's 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And I want to share a tip with you, 15 minutes worth of tips and ideas, and then 45 minutes worth of Q&A. That's how we're going to roll today. That's how we're going to roll on every first Friday LinkedIn webinar. So the tip that I want to talk with you today is about connecting. Most people may be a little disheartened because they don't think they can connect with people who are third level. So let's make sure we're all clear about first, second, third level, and then uh, I'll show you how to find the connect button for people that are distant from us, maybe third level. So first of all, probably uh, most of you who are on this call with me right now are first level. First level people are people who are in your network who you have sent an invite to or they sent an invite to you and one of you said yes, one of you accepted. And so here I've got a, a large number of connections. Those who know me know that I very purposely connect with people for a reason. I don't connect for any reason, but these are all people. These are people who I am first level connected to. And that's clear when you look at their profile, you'll see it says first level right here, first level. And so that's the, those are people, again, we've already connected with. However, there are other people, if you take a look over here, at Megan McConnell, I'm second level her. If I look at her profile, you'll see that there is a connect button right beside the in mail button. In mail button applies to those who are using premium LinkedIn uh, or to those who want to pay for in mails. A uh, whole other conversation, but look, second level, Megan McConnell, her, there's a connect button right here. However, if I go over here and look at Marta Thorne, okay, you'll see she's third level to me. So I bring her profile up, which I'm quite impressed with the speed of LinkedIn this morning. These profiles are load, loading fast. Look, Marta is third level to me. There is no connect button. So many people are getting discouraged. I got many emails over the last two or three days uh, regarding, oh my golly, how do I connect with third level LinkedIn members? And the answer is right here. The three buttons, sometimes they call it the hamburger button or the triple dot, and there's lots of names for it, but the three buttons, the three dots, click on that right there, and there's the connect button. LinkedIn is hiding this because most people are uh, connecting to third levels without purpose and intention. And so, but the, the connect option is there. I'm pretty sure it's there on every LinkedIn member. I have not found a situation where I haven't found that button, but it's right there under the three dots and I can send a connect request. Now, again, for those of you who know me, you know I'm very intentional about sending out LinkedIn invites. I will never send an invite to someone who doesn't know me. So if I wanted to connect with Marta, I'm gonna to have to look for a way for Marta to know me. If I believe there's some reason for Marta and I to connect, I'm going to be very intentional about knowing, having her know who I am before she gets an invite to me. So there's ways of doing that. The ways of doing that vary. I could go to the website and maybe find her email address and send her an email and say hello. If she was second level to me, let's go back to a second level person. Here's Megan McConnell. So, sec oh man, I'm telling you, they're loading fast today. So if second level to me, I might go to one of the four connections that uh, Megan and I share. Let's see who those are. 
Leslie, Marcus, or Douglas uh, Witcher. So I might, actually I know who Douglas is pretty good. I think I could reach out to Douglas. If I wanted to connect with Megan, I might give Douglas a call or send him an email and ask him to introduce me to Megan via email. Powerful way to get introduced, powerful way for Megan to know me. Another way that I could do it is I could go to, let's see what groups we share. If Megan and I share a group, and we don't, she's only in one group, so I can't go to a group and engage with her. So it makes it a little difficult where they're not using LinkedIn well. Let me try one more for the sake of it, just to see if I can make this happen. Let's go to, I'm going to use second level Calabra. I can do that. <clears throat> so Sarah Hallmark is second level to me. We share 26 connections. Again, I could very easily go to one of those connections and get them to introduce me to Sarah. I could also, let's see if she's in any groups with me. If we share any groups, again, that would be the, another really good way. She's not in any groups, so that kind of sucks. Uh, the only other thing I could do is go look at Sarah's content where she's had activity. And Sarah liked some content that Dan Standish shared. So if she had commented, I might be able to comment to her comment or like her comment or tag her in regards to her comment. But the fact that she only liked it makes it very unlikely that I'm going to be able to engage with her uh, through her content. Let's see, any articles? No articles, no posts. So again, if she had some content that I could bump into her by engaging on her content, again, I'm looking for ways for her to know my name before I send her an invite. So those are just a few ideas that I want to share with you about connecting with people. I wanted you to know, uh, you know that, the, that the connect button for third levels is hidden. I want you to know that never send an invite to people who don't know you, bump into them, get introduced to them, engage with their content, send them an email first, whatever you can do before you send them an invite. And then when you do send an invite, last point, when you do send an invitation, those who know me know, always put a personal note, always. And by the way, one more question tip I can share with you. And that is that when I can put a personal note here, um, you can now put email address and phone number. You can now put email address and phone numbers and web address content in your personal invite. Let me repeat that. When you send an invitation to connect, you can put phone number, email address, even a website URL if you want to. Uh, you don't have to. I would caution you about putting too much content here, too many links. You want to make that personal message, listen to that, personal message personal. You want her or him to want to connect with it. Everything else, all the engagement comes after you make the connection. However, I always put my phone number and my Skype URL on my invite. Sometimes I put my business phone number. Sometimes I put my personal cell phone number. Generally, I don't put my email address or my website when I put my personal note in here so that I can, uh, my intent is to put a personal note and maybe engage them to call me or Skype with me. But most importantly, I want them to connect with me. So I'm gonna hit cancel. I'm going to hit X. Those are all the ideas I want to share with you this morning. And so let's take the next 45 minutes and let's use this time to, uh, um, to engage on question and answers so that I can help you uh, grow your use of LinkedIn as a business tool. So let's see, Roger, what does tag really mean? What does follow really mean? So, um, so, Roger, unmute your mic if you'd like. Okay. And uh, tell me what you mean by what does tag mean? Uh, there's a couple of variations to that. Well, I, I see that all the time. You know, to, I get tagged, you know, when you're in Facebook, get tagged, and you got to click on this and say it's okay and what have you. 
So when you, when you tag someone, what does it mean? What are you doing? What are you actually doing when you tag someone? You so just, if I, uh, uh, what I'm doing is mentioning that person. So, uh, you know, great webinar today. Can you see me typing, Roger? Yeah, I sure can. Lots of cool people talking about LinkedIn as a business tool, driving more leads for business professionals. Good. Now watch this. See you here. Ah. Now I'm going to start a tag. Roger B. Okay. Because uh -huh. I know you personally, I don't have to say your last name. And um, so I just tagged you. So if you, uh, I don't know if you have your LinkedIn open, but if you look in your LinkedIn, you should see right here under this message button, Roger. Okay. This notification, excuse me, not message, notifications. Okay. You should see a, a notification that says Teddy Burris mentioned you. All right, I'm opening it up right now. Yeah. Well, here, don't go there. I'll show it to you here. Okay. Uh, for the sake of time, uh, I think I should be able to do it. Uh, I know I've had it recently. Ah. See this, Andrea, uh, Andrew liked a comment that mentioned you. There we go, here it is right here. Susie Sharp mentioned me in a comment. Okay. That's what it is. So you'll get a notification that says, Teddy Burris mentioned you in a post. Okay. I'm with you. And what what does that mean? That means um, let me see who else jumped in here. Wayne, how you doing? Unmute your mic. Uh, your mic is unmuted. Uh, and then when you're ready, feel free to ask any question. Uh, put your question in the chat box, Wayne, and I'll get to you. And uh, as I move through the list of questions and ideas, so it's good to have you on here. So uh, the, what's what's the value of a mention? The value of a mention, Roger, is uh, it's relationship building. So if I mention you in a relevant and useful conversation, whether it's a post, an article, a comment, I'm, I'm drawing you into the conversation, trying to get you to be involved in it. Hopefully for some meaningful value, listen to these words, for you. Not meaningful value for me, but meaningful value for you. Because that's what it's all about. Ah, okay. So um, I often do that when I want to get someone's attention, but I'm also very purposeful about doing that with real relevant content that, that would help you or the other person I mentioned. Uh huh. Now you asked, what does follow mean, Roger? That's another great question. Thank you very much. So I use follow a lot. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I go home, You'll see, let's see, where is that? Um, you know, if I go look at my post right here, view my post, 212 people viewed my post lately. Okay. You'll see that I have 8,700 followers. Okay. This is important. This is really important because I want people to notice me. You know, look, Jeff Weiner's got 5.2 million. Ariana's got 5.2. Guy Kawasaki, 2.1. Teddy Burris, 8.7K. Well, hell, right. compared to me, I'm, I'm impressed with 8.7K. Well, let me, let me explain to you what followers are and how I use followers and how I would encourage you to use followers. Followers are a combination of your connections and people who follow you. Your connections by default follow you. Okay. Default, your connections follow you. But you can also ask people to, or invite people or let people follow you. So see this Matthew, uh, I'll see if I can bring it up. I think I can. So I work at first level connected, but I think that there's an unfollow. Boom, waka. There's an unfollow button. So if I get tired of his content, which I'm not saying I would, uh, Matthew's good people, but I could unfollow him. And there, when I unfollow him, I will not see his content in my newsfeed. That's what that's gonna do. Now, oh, okay. flip it on the other way. I want people to follow me. So I get invites to connect regularly. I get in, invites to connect 
on a regular basis. I don't have any pending right now. Now this is really interesting how these names popped up. Many of these people I saw last night, or some of them I did. Oh, uh, that's really wild. So, uh, but anyway, if, if I get an invite from someone who I do not want to connect with, what I do is I ask them to follow me. So, what? Uh, let's see. Here. I'll show you a message. I just sent a message out just today. Here's one right here. I, I actually, I sent about four or five of them out today because I worked through my list. And so, here's one right here. Eleanor Burt. Okay. Eleanor Burt is in another country. That's not a problem for me. But Eleanor is in an industry that's totally irrelevant to me. Wednesday of this week, I sent Eleanor a message and I asked her, Eleanor, please let me know why you want to connect with me. Very polite word. Have we met, talked, who had referred me? Basically asking her to get, tell me why. But then she didn't respond. And I give you two or three days. I used to give you a week. I give you two or three days. And if you don't respond, I send this message. And this message basically thanked Eleanor for wanting to connect and asking her to follow me on LinkedIn. And the follow link is the same as your public profile URL, except it also include, uh, instead of IN, it's today slash author. So if I go look at Mr. Roger Bajek, let me use you as an example, Roger. <clears throat> Here's your personal LinkedIn profile. You can notice up here that, can you see this URL up here, up top? Yeah. Okay, and Roger Baycheck. However, I could also go look at your articles, okay? Uh -huh. and, and that'll bring me up your article page. And there's the, uh, if I go look at post, come on, where is it? It should be right there. Uh, I am following you. I know daggone well, I can just change this right here. I, I'm pretty sure. Let me make sure I'm sure. I am pretty sure. And it is uh, today slash author. Boom. So this is your author page. Okay. These are where you shared your 11 articles that you've written. Uh huh. And right there's the button. So if I, if you, Roger, if you get an invite from someone that you do not want to connect with, but you want them to follow you. You want everybody to follow you. Right. You only want to connect with your most important viewers, the people who can move your business forward, the people who can help you grow your business, you know, your potential customers or clients, et cetera, et cetera. Everybody else, never tell them no. Rather, tell them to follow you and you give them this URL, it'll bring them to this page and they'll have this button where they can say follow. Beautiful. So then any time, any other article I write, bang, it's in their, it's in their lap. Right? Anything that you do publicly mm -hmm. will show up on their newsfeed. So, uh, ta say it again, so, Roger, to you. Anything, so Patty, this anything is Beth, can, can you hear me? May show up on their newsfeed. Doesn't mean it will, but it may. <laughs> so, all right. Yeah, thanks. That's that's a good tip. Cool. So, all right. So, what other questions do you have, folks? What other questions do you have about using LinkedIn to help you grow your business? Uh, drop them in the chat box. Uh, unmute your mic if you want. It's a small enough group that we can do that. And if you want to ask out loud, go ahead and ask out loud. So, Teddy, what do you do if they? I mean, like I haven't written any articles or anything, so there's nothing you know, no content for them to follow, so to speak. So what do you do if you get an invitation in my situation with somebody you don't see any value in connecting with? Well, let's take a look at this, Beth. So here's Beth's um, profile. I'll get rid of the IN. I'm pretty sure you still have one. Um, nope, you don't. It's, I saw it kick right there. Wait a minute, is it going to do it? Nope, it kicked. So here's my recommendation to everybody who wants to have people follow them. Two things. Number one, write an article. 
write a LinkedIn long form article, Beth. Okay. Okay. Just one. Maybe you might write one, something very deliberately uh, about, you know, the industry you're in. You know, uh, maybe write an article about uh, the kind of work that you do. Uh, write an article that would be very relevant and highly useful to your most important viewer. Maybe write a story about an experience that you've had in, uh, in, in business that is, could be useful to your most important viewer. And then okay. once you write an article, then you then have an author page. Okay? All right. And then that gives you the ability to do that. Let me put yours in here, and I'll send the link to you so you know what it is. I'm sharing this link on the, in the chat box. Okay. I'm sharing it with everybody, but you, know, you can grab the ones that are relevant to you. But once you write an article, you'll have that, Beth. Okay. Um, then the next thing I would encourage you to do is engage on content that is highly relevant to you and your most important viewer. Okay. Yeah. Help, help me with that. You know, repeat that again, Eddie, or Teddy. Yep. What I encourage people to do is to engage on content. Gotcha. 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 Like, gotcha. Comment and share. Like, comment, and share content that is relevant and useful to your most important viewer. Right. That's like like so. I uh, I'm in a nutrition group and I'm, I'm constantly getting stuff from it and a lot of it's good so comment on that when i find when i comment on that i do get do get other comments on in in my uh, my contact will uh, explode so to speak you know but that's in groups right roger correct yeah so the uh, i like groups there's value to groups there's not as much value as there used to be so Anything that you do in the group stays in the group. Ah. Uh, seen anywhere else. Group content is com uh, confined to the group. So if you want to do be, if you want to be discovered as the authority you are in the industry you're in, if you want to be seen by your most important viewers, those are people who can move your business or your career forward, then you need to engage on content in the LinkedIn news feed. Gotcha. Outside of groups. And the more you engage on relevant content that's useful and helpful to your most important viewer, two things are going to happen. You're going to get more eyeballs on your profile. Okay. Your profile is built to very clearly tell your viewer who you are and what you do relevant to them then you want eyeballs on your profile. The second thing that's going to happen is your reputation is going to grow and people are going to like, respect, and trust you at a higher level because of the content that you're sharing and engaging on. And the third thing that's going to happen that I have very clearly see happening for myself. You know the saying that when you lay down with pigs, you come up smelling like them? You no, know, that's the negative side of this analogy. I, I'm one day I'm going to come up with a, a better analogy. When you fly with the eagles, you soar. Well, okay, thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. When you uh, hang out, well, say it again. When you, when you fly with eagles, you soar. Yeah, you know, when you fly with the eagles, you soar. I am getting more and more invitations to connect from people who are closer and closer to being my most important viewer. My target audience, the people that I do business with who, who pay me my million dollar years for my, in my business, the number is a joke. The people who are my target audience are business development managers, sales managers, sales trainers, executives that lead sales teams. I am getting more and more invites from those individuals because of the content I share and engage on and because of the people that I connect with. You make a deliberate decision to change that content 
in that audience, you will see a change in who's looking at you and who's asking to connect. Cool. So what other questions, uh, uh, Wayne, Chris, Beth, what other, what other questions or ideas can I help you with using LinkedIn to grow your business or, or move your career forward? I guess I've got one, uh, Teddy. We've been posting more uh, on Facebook, um, especially a lot of uh, video content, how-tos and stuff like that. Um, I realize LinkedIn certainly more geared towards the articles. Um, but how often uh, should you post on LinkedIn? And what's a good practice there to, uh, you know, if it's relevant content to your audience? So uh, from, a, as a, from a marketing, as a marketing professional, there might be a different set of rules or different, uh, you, know, uh, you know, best practices for how much content to share. Uh, I, I know people who share content every 30 minutes. And that's important to their network, okay? And, a, and, a, and talk, different, industry is way different than yours and mine and everybody else on here. <clears throat> so for me, uh, what, what seems to be working for me, I'm going to tell you what works for me, and I'm going to give you the conditions. <clears throat> what works for me is one or two, maybe three things a day. Now, they're big or, the, or they're small. Let me show you what I mean. Okay. You know, I, uh, I, I don't share uh, big stuff all the time. I'm not writing articles every day. I'm not doing a video every day. Now, I do a lot of videos and I write a lot of articles. But for me, it's not about writing an article every day. Look, this, just this one little thing, testing with my buddy Roger, got 17 views. Mm -hmm. Okay? Check this out. I thanked yesterday, 21 hours ago, I thanked Compliance World for, for hiring me for another big webinar. Okay? Uh, which will have hundreds of people that I don't know they're 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 a uh, uh, scraper scraping the content wrong I can't change it that just that six to ten was a line that's in there on their website uh, it'll have hundreds of people there look 219 views okay I got a few likes mm -hmm. look three days ago I thanked Illumio for my, my newest class four days ago I did a vi YouTube video that 384 views uh, you know, I pay attention. Look at that. Blew me away. 3,800 sure. views of this little thing right here. Oh, the PSA thing? And that, that was great. That was oh, I do PSAs all the time. PSAs are things that I notice immediately. And when I see a PSA, I see something immediately, I, publish, I post that, which I tell people to pay serious attention to what's going on. Uh, and so, yeah, I get lots of views there and I, I don't get a lot of engagement, but I'm not real. I don't really care about the engagement here. Mm -hmm. the eyeballs on the stuff that is highly relevant to me helping people. So, Chris, I'm, to answer your question, you know, you want, I really encourage you to share something. If you're in a business development role, you know, I would encourage you to be sharing something of meaning to your most important viewer at least once a week. Okay. Now, here's the caveat, or here's the, the condition. It's gotta be sustainable. Yes. If you can't sure. do something once a week, then it won't work. If you decide to do something once every other day, and, you've, and you falter, and you're not doing it, it won't help you. You, you can't be flip floppy. You've got to be pretty consistent about giving out content on, a, on whatever basis, whatever time frame you feel comfortable doing. Uh, great advice, Teddy. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, I know for the YouTube platform, Facebook and everything, that was the big thing that everybody had mentioned was that, you know, you had to, you have to be consistent. You have to get a schedule that you know you can stick to come hell or high water. And if you get a good following of people who care about you, which is what you want, mm -hmm. uh, they will call you out when you don't show up. <laughs> you know, and that, that you know you're doing right if you make a mistake and don't show up uh, because they expect it of you. Well, fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. So, and remember, it's, it, there's, a port, there's a plethora of, that's the third or fourth time I've used that word this week. There's a plethora of ways of you can share content. You can write a long form article, make that very intentional, focused to your most important viewer, 
Look at that, 252 clicks of this article. That means they clicked on the content within it, okay? I like that. Mm. Cool. Uh, you can share a post. I, you know, don't copy my model, but maybe create your own model. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do the PSAs, you know? Um, and then the other one is, and by the way, when you do posts, your posts can be images, videos, links to articles, uh, links to third-party content, or just something simple that, you know, helps people. Look at that. We're up to 24 views now. Okay. Um, and, and by the way, that should be driving views of Roger's profile because people probably want to know who this Roger dude is. Okay. And then the other thing, the other type of content that you can uh, use on LinkedIn is just the, the proverbial like, comment, and share. Okay. And, uh, and if you comment and you share, you know, meaningful comment relevant to the discussion. Okay. And, uh, and if you tag, if you mention somebody, you know, you make sure you mention somebody with purpose and value for them. And if you share something, make sure you tell people why you are sharing it. Gotcha. Yeah. Make it sustainable, for, uh, something you can repeat pretty easily. So, uh, what other questions, what other uh, ideas or, or you know, challenges can I help you with using LinkedIn to grow your business or move your career forward? Just refresh a little bit of how we pop links into our, into our comments and our posts and articles. So the easiest way uh, to do that is if you're out reading an article somewhere <clears throat> And you, you know, uh, uh, HubSpot's very relevant to me, so I use this a lot. I go to their blogs, and sometimes I go to their my marketing or sales blog. Hey, hey, go back to sales blog. You know, I love their website, by the way. I need to find a web developer who can create this one for me for little or nothing. <laughs> so, uh, but I find an email, new, the brand new breakup email that gets responses right away. Well, I like that idea, you know. So, you know, you read an article and you like this article, it's relevant to you, useful to your network of interest. Uh, you think it's worth sharing to your network? Right here, Roger. So if you go to a website, you go right here. Okay. All right, can you guys see that pop up? Did that pop up show up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I see it. So this is gonna change. LinkedIn hasn't changed it yet, but it's gonna change. So from this sharer, LinkedIn sharer tool, you know, I can change the image. If it's a different image, there's only one. It's the big one, a little one. I can edit the, what's called the title. I can edit the, uh, the excerpt. It's in here by hitting that. Change the title, change the excerpt. Don't change it to be non-relevant to what it was. You know, um, you know, you want to, but sometimes this stuff here has got marketing stuff for these guys. Uh -huh. And so that's why uh, I come in here now and then I'll get rid of the conversations about HubSpot, but make it about this article. So, uh, so, you know, I can change that, but then tell your viewer absolutely critical why you're sharing this. You know, explain to them the importance, the value, the usefulness to them. Okay? And then you can also tweet it if, you have, if you're using Twitter. Turn that off if you don't want to use it. So, so then, but by the way, also currently from this share tool, which mark my words, will change, I can also drop this into a group. So if I want to share this with my ATD group, I can drop, just type ATD. If I want to share it to a group that's called NC Wise Man, watch this, NC, and I can select Wise Man. This only works, this share tool only works efficiently if you're logged into LinkedIn while you're also viewing HubSpot content, okay? Ah. So I'm always logged into LinkedIn when I'm working. And I know that creates an opportunity for, you know, uh, cookies and, you know, redirect marketing and, uh, you, know, uh, you know, all the other marketing tools. I'm not worried about that. I don't care because I go to stuff that's relevant to me. So if they're going to market to me. That's okay because it's relevant. Um, and then the last thing I can do, but I won't do this, all three, the last thing I can do is I can send this article to Roger. 
if because I'm logged in, I can type Roger's name and send it to Roger, and then change this and say, "Dude, read this." <laughs> so you know, um, and actually, I might just do that. So so again, from the website, the websites that have sharing functionality built into them, um, you know, I can hit the share button, bring up the share box. Um, and again, share it as an update in my news feed publicly, post it to specific groups. Do not post to more than one group at a time. You'll get shut down eventually, especially if you make a mistake and share stuff that's irrelevant to that group. Okay. Send it to an individual and hit that button and away it goes. You know, it wants me to do more things. I'm hit X. And so now I can't see it, but Roger's got a message in LinkedIn that's uh, in his message box from Teddy that says, dude, read this. Okay. I'll, I'll... Now, I'm going to show you the other way, Roger. Okay. Here's, here's the other way. So um, if I go to HubSpot and I get that article, I can just grab the URL, grab the URL, come to LinkedIn, go to the home page. All I did, by the way, was go highlight that URL and hit control C. That's all I did. Okay, you with me? Yep. So then I go over here, share an article. Don't click on this. Click on this, share an article. And I can, uh, boom, post that. It resolves. And then I can say, tell people why. This is a fabulous article. Blah, 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 blah. You know, good read for any now my most important viewer is sales managers and sales professionals okay so yeah. i'm going to tag sales managers or i'm not tag them i'm going to use those words sales manager and sales professional in my why statement Okay. Because when people scroll through my news feed and they see Teddy say it's a good article for sales managers, I'll capture their attention. Yeah. Or or possibly capture their attention. So. Okay. And then to tag somebody, you could have just put at. Yeah. There you go. Got it. Okay. Okay. And yeah. I'll. I'll use better words when I do this. So <laughs> I'm not doing that. So I'm getting rid of that. This is, this is cash, casual, casual. Yeah, I'm good with that. There you go. <laughs> so I have an MH on here. MH. Uh, this is Teddy Burris. Who's on here? I just unmuted your mic. Are you on? Can you talk? Oh, that's okay. So you came in late. If you have a question about using LinkedIn, I hope you can hear me. If you have a question, drop it in the chat box or unmute your mic and ask any question. And uh, uh, on these first Friday webinars, it's all about answering questions that can help you use LinkedIn as a business tool, use LinkedIn to grow your, uh, your pipeline, grow your business, or ch move your career forward. So what other questions do you have that I can answer for you good folks? Got mine this morning, Teddy. That's good. 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 Good to see you. Yeah, I think I'm good this morning. I'm gonna save them up for next time. Okay. All right. So. All right, man. You have a great day. Uh best of you. Best seeing you. Uh, take off. I'm going to hang out because I commit to being here to nine. If anybody wants uh, any ideas or help, I'm here. Thank you, Teddy, very much. All right, Beth, take care. You too. Yeah, I got one. Thing. If this is recorded. How do we uh, come back to the recording? So I will figure that out when I, when I hit, the, <laughs> hit the recording. I will... Uh, uh, I think that I can send you a link to it. Okay, cool. Okay. Have a great week, everybody. All right, take care.
So unless somebody else has a question, I'm gonna I'm I'm here to answer questions, here to help you use LinkedIn as a business tool to grow your pipeline, move your business forward, uh, connect, network, get into open conversations. Uh, I, I do this every first Friday of the month, and uh, again, my goal is to help you move your business forward, help you grow your pipeline, right, or move your career forward. Uh, each Friday, each first Friday, the first 15 minutes will be uh, a new tip, a new idea, a new challenge that you need to know about, something changed with LinkedIn. In the last 45 minutes, uh, I will answer questions. I'll show people uh, the things that they need to do know that they didn't know before. So unless there's more questions, I'm going to shut down. Wayne, thanks for joining. Uh, MH, thanks for joining. Uh, and I will, uh, I'll post another Eventbrite. And uh, actually, it's, it's on Eventbrite. It's out there. So you can easily uh, find it. It's a, a recurring first Friday. If there's anything I can do to help anybody in any way, if you, you know, looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching, if you're looking on for corporate training, if you're looking for uh, personal uh, webinars or seminars for an association or a group, please feel free to reach out to me and engage in a conversation where I could put together some way to help you. So I'm going to I'm going to end the event. I uh, look forward to seeing everybody next month.